Aquarius, howdy doody, how you doing? Let's go ahead and knock out your little bonus reading for the month of May here, all right? So anywho, if you'd like information on scheduling a personal reading, that will be in the description of the video, okay? Description of the video. Not my Facebook inbox, not my Instagram DM, the description of the video, okay? Anywho, less talking, more reading, right? What else can we tell my Aquarians this month? May 2020, universe, what else? Because my goal, my goal, the intention I put behind these readings is to pick up on the details I left out in the main monthly. That's my intention. No, that's not what always comes through. To be 100% honest, you never really know exactly what's gonna come through, but I gotta put some kind of intention, some kind of intention into it, so. Anywho, what else do we got for my Aquarians this month? What else do we got, my Aquarians? Boom, Knight of Wands in the reverse. All right, so as far as whatever it is you're dealing with here, kind of feels like a slow month. Feels like time is just kind of standing still, like not a whole lot of things are progressing or moving forward. Kind of like you can watch ticks of the clock, you know, like the second hand on the clock is just going, you know? <laughs> anyway, let's get five shuffle. One, two, three, two more shuffles. Also, some of you are um, either refusing to take action towards a person or you're waiting on them to come forward. They're not doing it. One of the two. One of the two. Hmm, yeah, okay. So overall here, overall I feel like, uh, I feel like this is more of a burden than anything. Regardless of what this person is to you, regardless of um, how much you think you love them or how badly you think you want them back if you're dealing with a past person, when it all comes down to it, at the end of the day, this connection brings you more of a burden, more stress and anxiety, and it brings you happiness, joy, and fulfillment. And at the end of the day, when that's what we're dealing with here, what are we doing? What are we doing, all right? Um, the high priestess, I think people from the outside looking in see you as being very, probably very intuitive. People are kind of, uh, hey, man, Aquarius just got it on point, man. Just very intuitive. Like has a vision, a very, very intuitive type of vision, you know, way of looking at the world is the way most people look at y'all. That's the way most people see y'all. If they don't see you as a complete and total nutcase, they see you as having a very, very, oh, admirable way of looking at things. Let's just put it that way. Oh, but you could be dealing with a Taurus. Okay. Could be anybody though. I have, could be another Aquarius. I have Taurus, Aquarius. I also have Scorpio and I have Pisces. So take it how it resonates. But uh, this situation here hit a wall. Now that's kind of the new way that I've, that I've began to describe uh, Empress Reverse. Because usually I would say, okay, this isn't gonna grow or expand past anything that it's already grown or expanded into. But I think some people may misunderstand what I mean when I say that. What I mean is you and this person are, are you know, going along your merry way and then all of a sudden you hit your first roadblock and Okay, so what are we gonna do here? Are we gonna, as a team, work through this? Or is this where it stops between us, you know? And that's what I see here. It's like, okay, well, if you, even if this was a past person you would like to get back together and start dealing with again or something, it's just like, okay, well, it's gonna be stuck right there because the two of you as a unit cannot make it past this. It's gonna be one or the other of you, you know? So I really think that if any communication does come in here, I think you're going to pass. I think you've made up your mind that I, I think I'm going to pass on this right here, honestly. Okay. Could be a Scorpio you're dealing with, but I feel like you are allowing this to come to an end finally. It makes you nervous. Again, you know that this connection makes you, brings you more restlessness and irritability and more of a burden than it actually brings you happy, happiness, joyment, blah. happiness, joy, and fulfillment. Okay. Um, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, the person you're dealing with here uh, could be a Pisces, but I don't think it's a secret. I don't think they're keeping it to themselves. They definitely, they want this badly. 
They want this badly. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. At the end of the day, I feel like you're walking away. You're turning it down. If any, if, I'm not seeing, we're going to look here in just a second. I'm not seeing like direct communication coming in yet. It may. But I am seeing that even if they were decide, to decide to, you would still turn it down. Four of Cups here. You would still pass on the offer. It's, again, I'm feeling the, the energy here that's much like, even if you won the Powerball jackpot lottery and were the last person on this planet, there's still no way in hell I would even consider. That's the type of energy I'm feeling here. I'm like, no. No means no means no. And that's all there is to it. That's it. So... Let's look a little bit more at the person that you're dealing with here. Okay. Let's look at the person Aquarius is dealing with. Ooh, there's that four cups again. Again. Let's see though. Person, people, and or situations playing the biggest influence on my Aquarian. Got the barking dog out there. Hopefully, I can still leave my window open. That's why I'm a cat person. Just saying. Just saying. I'm a cat person, man. Anyway, let's get, ooh, Six of Swords reversed. I think this person still thinks about you an awful lot and very well may make a return. I don't know, though. Let's see. Six shuffles. One. Two. Three. Three more. Boom, three of pentacles. Nine of pentacles, queen of pentacles. Good God, some of y'all could definitely be dealing with an earth sign, but um, it could be anybody. It could be anybody. Man, you see, they really, I think they're planning and scheming. They're still planning and scheming a comeback. Okay. Honestly, though, what I see is that I don't think it's going to work. They can plan and scheme and plot all they want, but it's not going to work. It's not going to be successful. This tower is crashing. The, the fire has spread too much in the building. Like, you can try to plan and scheme all you want to try to put that fire out and rebuild it, but it they just just too far gone. It's, just, it's not going to work. Even if they do try to come back, like I said, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Okay? I kind of have a feeling that uh, you're dealing with somebody who is a little immature is what I'm feeling like here. A bit of a drama queen, like... Even if they're the ones who lost the battle, they're still going to find a way to try to make themselves feel like they're the ones in the right, you know? I don't think you can trust this person. I don't think you can trust this person at all. Okay? I don't think you can trust this. And you know this. I don't think I'm telling you anything you don't know. And that's the thing. Like, I don't think there are very many Aquarians watching this. At least if this story resonates. By the way, if this doesn't resonate... Don't worry about it. Check your moon, your rising, and your Venus. And if none of those resonate, well, then I just don't have a message for you this month, okay? It's no big deal. But for those of you who this story does resonate, uh, I think most of you already know this. It's like, I'm not telling you anything you don't know about this person. You're like, well, yeah, duh. Oh, man, don't tell me they're coming back. I don't want to deal with the past person, right? <laughs> Anywho, let's, um, let's see where the situation is most likely to be. Where are you most likely headed? What timelines are you most likely headed now? Most likely outcome for this situation. Anything new coming in? Old things coming back? Or are we just going to have a boring, stagnant month? Ba Boom! Ten of Swords. All right. It's a nine dollar. Like I said, that even if you wanted to, even if they won the Powerball jackpot lottery with that Ten of Pentacles card laying on their side at the beginning of the reading. Hail to the now. That's what I'm saying there. Let's get five shuffles. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, 
Two more. Boom, eight of cups. Yeah, you're still walking away from this. Any communication that does try to come in, I feel like you're gonna turn it straight down. And I do think that, man, that's the thing, dude. That's the thing, because it's very difficult to say. Very difficult to say. For some of you, I do think you are gonna hear from this person again. Uh, from others of you, um, probably not, probably not. But either way, I don't really think you're going to make any kind of attempt to, to come back around or anything like that. You know, it's a done dollar. Done dollar, done, done dollar. Not in a million years, man. That's what I'm probably going to title this video. That's probably what I'm going to title this video because that's what I'm feeling there. You know, like, see, but for those of you new to my channel, I'm an Aquarius too. So I, I, I understand the mentality. Even though this doesn't really resonate with me all that much, which the Aquarius readings rarely ever do anymore, but uh, I still understand where the mentality is coming from. And it's very fixed, okay? Aquarius is fixed. And those of you other fixed signs who are watching this, I'm sure you can attest to this when it's like, no, I said no. Uh, I'm insulted. I, I don't know what, what I'm more pissed off about. Uh... I don't know if I, I'm just irritated that you won't leave me alone or if I'm insulted that you actually think I'm weak-minded enough that you could change my mind, right? Aquarius, come on now. Come on now. Once you make that decision and somebody tries to change your mind, that's going to piss you off, isn't it? What, you think my mind is that weak? You think you can just come along and change my mind and sway me and persuade me? Uh-uh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Not in a million years. I don't care if I'm laying under a bridge. You know, I would rather survive on my own under a bridge with you and your, you could win the Powerball jackpot and buy a mansion. I still want nothing to do with you. That's what, that's what this looks like here. You know, <clears throat> that's what this feels like. So, damn, damn. The good thing is though, is that those of you who aren't quite there yet, you're going to be. Okay. This is the goal. Like I said, y'all have heard me talk about this a million times and at some point I am going to remake, well not remake, but I'm going to make a newer updated version of the um, how to manifest a successful relationship. For those of you who haven't seen it, click on the search bar and watch Rich Lop, how to manifest a successful relationship. This is the goal. Everybody thinks the 10 of cups is the goal. It's not. The nine of cups is the goal. I tell my personal clients this all day, all day. Okay. This is the goal. The goal in love is not to have a relationship. The goal in love is not for another person to come fulfill you, for another person to come complete you. That's not the goal. The goal is to feel whole and to feel complete. That's the goal. Think about it now. Think about it. We have been deceived into believing that the only way to feel whole and to feel complete is to find an external solution to an internal problem, to be filled from the outside in. Bullshit. It has never worked that way and it never will. You are the universe, okay? A lot of us are under the, this is my example. Um, Y'all may have heard me say this in a different video, but we are kind of led to believe when we hear universe or source or God or something like that, that it's this external mechanism that functions very similar to if you were to say, hey, Rich, my food tastes like shit, man. I'm all out of salt. God, can you help me? I need some salt. I'd be like, oh, okay, cool. Here you go. Here's some salt. Universe don't work that way. If you say to the universe, man, my food tastes like shit. Okay, here's some more shitty tasting food. Do what? Yeah, the universe mirrors back to you exactly what you're giving it. So if you say, I'm lonely, the universe says, well, you must not be a very fucking fun person to be around. So here's some more evidence to support that. What? Yeah, I'm going to go king of swords mode on you, okay? The universe does not care how you feel. The universe does not care what makes you happy. You are the universe. It's not out there. It's not this separate entity. It's a mirror. Your outside world is a mirror image of your inside world. That's why once you reach nine of cups mode, this is the goal. Because once you start saying, you know what? I like me. I dig me. I would rather be around me than anybody else. That's when the universe is going to send you another person who mirrors that back to you. That's the way it really works. Most of us walk around talking shit to ourselves all day, don't we? We walk around saying things like, oh, I'm not good enough. 
I'm not smart enough. I'm too fat. I'm too skinny. I'm too tall. I'm too short. I'm not pretty enough. I'm not handsome enough. I'm not smart enough. I'm, you know, we talk shit to ourselves. And we don't know that the universe has only says one thing. Yes, that's true. Here's some more evidence to support that. So when the universe actually starts sending us what we're getting it and mirroring that back to us, we have the nerve to point to those people and blame them for our self-esteem problem as if it's their job to come make us feel differently. Like, oh, no, no, no. All the people are supposed to come make you feel differently and make you start saying different things to yourself. That's not the way it works. You start talking different to yourself and the universe will eventually mirror that back to you. But you have to make sure that that is your default setting. That's the way it works. By default, I mean you're not forcing it. That's just your second nature, you know? You have to wire it into your subconscious that hardcore. And yes, you can do that. Ask Dr. Joe Dispenza. He's the only doctor I pay attention to. Mm -hmm. Yup, yup. Anywho. Things to watch out for and advice moving forward. As if I didn't just go on a big long tangent and give you a bunch of advice. Let's get six shuffles. One. Oops. Two. Three. Three more. Five of Swords. Nine of Wands. Watch out for people who are always on defense mode. Okay? You know those people that have those trust issues all the time? You don't trust nobody? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Nobody? You mean every single person who enters your life fucks you over? Every one of them? Of all the people on this planet, every single person that you encounter fucks you over. What's really going on there? What's really going on there? Okay, there's obviously more to the story than that. And you know what? If, if that's like, this is, what, this is what ends up making people who have better judgment and follow their intuition look like bad people. I can tell there's obviously more to the story than this. You know what? I'd kind of rather steer away from you because eventually you're probably going to go around telling everybody that I fucked you over too. That's usually what happens. Come on now. Come on now. You know, you know you've been through that at least once in your life. You meet that person and they can't trust anybody, and you think you're going to come along and show them that people are better than that, okay? Next thing you know, they're talking about you the same way they talk about everybody else. Watch out for that. Watch out for that. Okay. Oh, watch out for people who are really impatient, okay? The things that you want, allow the universe to bring them to you, okay? Impatience isn't really going to do it for you. That's not going to bring you anything worthy. So, like, especially if it's relationships or a career for that matter, uh, you're talking about the rest of your daggum life, right? So, why not take one year, one year, and dedicate it to nothing but being by yourself and healing and working on your relationship with yourself? If you can't stay put for one year and be by yourself, what makes you think anybody is going to come along and stay two years, three years, five years, ten years? If you are too impatient to take one year and dedicate it to self-betterment, self-mastery, okay? Stay patient, stay balanced, okay? Uh, also, too, watch out for people who allow their anxiety to make decisions for them. And guess what? Right now, with everything going on in the world, it's real easy to get people to do that. Get people in a panic, get people freaked out, get people scared. You can get them to do fucking anything you want. I get you scared enough, your ability to think for yourself is completely paralyzed. And <laughs> you're my puppet now. Watch out for that. Do not let fear make decisions for you. And do not hang with people who have a difficult time thinking for themselves and let their fear make decisions for them. Okay? Anywho, I feel like the messages my Aquarians needed to hear have come through. 
I'm going to go ahead and end the reading here. I greatly appreciate everybody that tuned in and played along. Remember, if you would like information on scheduling personal readings, that includes pricing, how to get a hold of me, and everything. It's all under this video. If you click that drop down arrow, or there, or wherever it is, somewhere under here, you know. Anyway, click that thingy, and it uh, that's all there. It's not in my Facebook inbox. It's not in my Instagram DM. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Uh, we will see you later on, on 2222s as well. Don't forget about that. 2222s. Okay, I do that on my secondary YouTube channel. If you want a quick little answer to a question, it's not anything real long and drawn out or anything like that. Quick little answer to a question for $22.22. The information for that is in the description of the video as well. That takes place once a week on my secondary channel. Definitely look into that as well. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here though, okay? I'll see y'all sometime between now and the rest of all eternity, okay? Have a good one.